Hello everyone, welcome back to Skyrim. We are right where we left off last episode. And yeah, let's not lose any more time. <laughs> so as you could see from last episode, these episodes are gonna be kinda long, but last one was especially long because I wanted just to get past that tutorial phase. Maybe we are still in the tutorial, I don't know. But we're, they're gonna be like between 40 to 50 minutes, probably. I'm gonna try to not edit anything. Uh, right, so let's see. Ooh, what is this? Just bones, okay. Right, so let's see. What is my current quest? Deliver the Dragon Zone to Farangar. Ah, I can just fast travel, right? Dragon's Reach. Fast traveling. Hey, what's up? Who are you? Brigands, I can handle commander Chaos. Well, I'm the commander of the guard here in White Run. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> here, you should put that weapon away. Sorry. Right then, where's this mage mage kid at? You see? The terminology is clearly first era or even earlier. I'm convinced this is a copy of a much older text. Perhaps dating to just after the Dragon War. If so, I could use this to cross-reference the names with other later texts. Good. I'm glad you're making progress. My employers are anxious to have some tangible answers. Oh, have no fear. The Jarl himself has finally taken an interest. So I'm now able to devote most of my time to this research. Time is running, Farangar, don't forget. This isn't some theoretical question. Dragons have come back. Yes, yes, don't worry. Although the chance to see a living dragon up close would be tremendously valuable. Now, let me show you something else I found. Yeah, you, you just realized? I think your employers may be interested as well. I've been here a while now. Ah, yes, the Jarl's protege. Yeah. Back from Bleak Falls Barrow. Yep. <laughs> you didn't die, it seems. I did not ah, die. The dragon stone of Bleak Falls Barrow. Seems you are a cut above the usual brutes the Jarl sends my way. Of course I am. I am a, I am a prince. So what about my reward? No, I think that Jither would want to prove himself. You'll have to see the Jarl about that. Maybe his steward, Avenici. I'm sure one of them will pay you appropriately. Okay. My associate here will be pleased to see your handiwork. Okay. She discovered its location by means she has so far declined to share with me. So your information was correct after all. And we have our friend here to thank for recovering it for us. You thank went me. into Bleak Falls Barrow and got that? Yeah. Nice work. Just send me a copy Barangar. when you've deciphered it. Barangar, you need to come at once. A dragon has been sighted nearby. Really? You should come too. Yeah, I will. Dragon, how exciting. Where was it seen? What was it doing? I'd take this a bit more seriously if I were you. If a dragon decides to attack Whiterun. Uh, it's just a dragon, don't worry about it. Let's go. Come on, hurry up. Hurry up. Not now. Dude. I came here I raid first. So, Irileth tells me you came from the Western Watchtower. Yes, my lord. Tell him what you told me about the dragon. No, oh, that's right. We saw it coming from the south. It was fast. Faster than anything I've ever seen. What did it do? Is it attacking the watchtower? No, my lord. It was just circling overhead when I left. I never ran so fast in my life. I thought it would have come after me, for sure. Good work, son. We'll take it from here. Head down to the barracks for some food and rest. You've earned it. Irileth, you'd better gather some guardsmen and get down there. I've already ordered my men to muster near the main gate. Good. Don't fail me. There's no time to stand on ceremony, my friend. I need your help again. I want you to go with Irileth and help her fight this dragon. Oh yeah. You survived Helgen. So you have more experience with dragons than anyone else here. But I haven't forgotten the service you did for me in retrieving the dragon stone for Faringar. As a token of my esteem, I have instructed Avenici that you are now permitted to purchase property in the city. And please, ah. accept this gift from my personal army. So I am a noble now. 
along. I would very much Iron helmet of minor destruction. No. I can't afford to risk both of you. I need you here working on ways I'll to see you with the watchtower as soon okay. as the rest of the men have gathered. As you command. So I can now buy property here, which means I am recognized as a nobleman. I've seen you Aha. in the yard. Only all visitors to White Run were as noble. Who are you? Look interesting. All I'm not a man. I'm a weapon in human form. Just ah. unsheath me and point me at the enemy. Weapon sexual, I see. Right. At the southern tower. <laughs> Where the fuck am I supposed to go? Uh, hello? Quest. Dragon Racing. Meet Irolith near the western... Wa oh, western watchtower. Got it. Western watchtower. Here. Uh-huh. Right. <laughs> okay. That must be it right there. Alright, here we go. Nope, don't. Oh, fuck you, dragon. Fuck off. Yeah, fuck you. Take that. Am I kidding it? I'm not sure. Uh, healing? There must be a faster way to do this, right? Now sparks again, and my... Actually, let's go both hands on sparks. Don't do it. Don't do it. Come here. I'm hitting it now. No more magica, no more magica. And a uh, potion of minor magica. You have two of them. Now we go in with the mace. Hit it. Hit it. <laughs> I'm just hitting it from behind. Oh shit. Take that, dragon. Oh fuck. Let's go. Let's go, dragon. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm shooting it over the head with a mace. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. Nice. That was so cool. Nice. Bonded iron armor. White room guard armor. Guard helmet. Steel arrow. Dragon bone. This must be important. Gold and four boots. Yeah, let's not take that. Um, wait, let me... A minute, dude. Just give me some time. Give me some time. Iron armor. Uh, Imperial armor. Let's drop this. Wait, two. Drop this. Drop this. Ah, there we go. What's happening? 
it just died. I mean, yeah, I killed it, but... Dragon Soul Absorbed. Overlearned Force, Unrelenting Force. Ah, this is what I saw before, right? The shouts that you have in Skyrim. Magic. Shouts. Here we go. Seat shout. I can't believe it. You're Dragonborn. Dragonborn? What in do you mean? Oldest tales, back from when there were still dragons in Skyrim, the Dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. That's what you did, isn't it? Absorb the dragon's power. Um, I don't know what happened to me. You can shout now. You couldn't before, right? That can only mean one thing. You must be Dragonborn. Dragonborn. Ah. What are you talking about? That was the hairiest fight I've ever been in. And I've been in more than a few. Yeah, you saw how I killed it, didn't you? Like old Tiber Sept. I'm so glad you're with us. I've never heard of you Tiber Sept killing any right dragons. dragons. Yes. Yarl Balgram will want to know what happened here. Yes, you saw how I got on top of it and killed it, right? That was that was super cool, wasn't it? But the old tales tell of the dragon kill dragons and steal the You head back to White Rock. Okay, shut up. I'll I'll go back, but not because you told me. Um, hello. Removed it. Hey, let me. Okay, well apparently I can't go into the keep anymore. Oh, also I should sell my shit, finally. Where do you sell shit in this game? We're maidens. Hello? This is not over. You there. We're looking for someone in White Run. We will pay good money for information. Who are you looking for? A foreigner in these lands. Redguard, like us. She is likely not using her true name. We will pay for any information regarding her location. We are not welcome here in White Rock, so we will be in Rorikstead if you learn anything. Okay. Uh, why are you looking it's for this person? Concern. All you need to know is that we're paying for information. If that doesn't interest you, feel free to walk away. Well, maybe you're a fucking idiot. We're looking for a fugitive who comes from Hammerfell, a Redguard woman. She may be somewhere in this. Okay, shut up. I don't care. Right, let's see. There must be somewhere to sell shit here. Maybe. Uh, general goods. There we go. Ah, but it's closed. Right. That's it. It's closed. Okay. Arcadia's Cauldron. Because it's night, isn't it? Um. If this is like Fallout, then there must be a way to. Mm, I'll wait to wait. Quick save. Inventory, system journal. Hmm. Maybe I need to like sit down somewhere. God might get nervous. A man approaches with his weapon drawn. Ah, oh, sorry, sorry about that. Yeah, I'll look, I'll look it up. Wait. I'll look it up. I'm looking it up right now. How to wait in Skyrim? The T button. Okay. Uh huh. I want to wait like what? 10 hours? Okay. Rorik Steps a nice enough little hamlet with a boring posting for a guard. Hey, the tone's bustling here. Idle life, Battleborn. Grey Mane or Battleborn? 
What? Got stones in your ears? I asked what side you're on. Grey Mane or Battleborn. I don't know what you're asking. New in town, huh? White Run's got two clans, both old and both respected. Difference is, the Grey Manes turned their backs on the Empire, and we Battleborn stayed loyal. So I'll ask again, Grey Mane or Battleborn? I am not picking sides. Sooner or later, we all have to choose a side. Long live the Empire. Okay. No, I don't want to fucking log my way in. Or steal my way in, rather. Ban Bannered Mayor. Ban oh, Bannered Mayor. Got it. And do you want to buy my... Work you need. How about... Let's sate that appetite, hmm? Okay, I want to sell you. Will you not buy... No, you won't buy my shit. Okay, well. Um, goodbye. Need anything else? Just no. Let me know. Thank you. Now, where do I sell my stuff? That's what I want to know. You know nothing. Nothing of our struggles, our suffering. He knows nothing, apparently. Got a lot of steel to shape. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Maybe you will buy my shit. That's I don't claim to be the best blacksmith in White Run. Yorland Greymane's got that honor. Hmm. Blades, helmets. Anything for sale. Anything to suit your needs. Okay, I can sell you stuff. Got it. Finally. Um okay. Apparel. Let's sell you this. I'll sell you this. I'll sell you this. And this. Okay, miscellaneous, anything you want here, leather, linen wrap, no, it seems you don't want anything for me. Ah, interesting, okay, so you sell stuff for forging, interesting. Uh, do you need help around forge? Yes, actually, how about you smith me an iron dagger? Here's everything you need to make one. Go oh, ahead. okay, I'll do it, right don't now. Forget to check in okay. <laughs> Out with it. You have talent. Keep working at your craft and you'll be a fine smith one day. Ah, uh, thank Why you. Why don't you keep that dagger and helmet? Maybe you will remember me when you're making Skyforge steel, huh? Maybe I'll Looking sell to them back to you. Yourself or deal some damage. Weapons? Iron dagger? Let's sell you this. And this helmet? Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Okay, let's make our way to the keep. Ah, uh, the keep. It's so pretty up here. Okay. Hello. Good. You're finally here. The Yarl's been waiting for you. Yeah. You heard. So what happened at the watchtower? Was the dragon there? Uh... The Watcher Tower was straight, but we killed the dragon. Left, but there must be more to it than that. Um... Turns out I may be something called Dragonborn. Dragonborn? What do you know about the Dragonborn? When the dragon died, I absorbed some, some of its power. So it's true. Greybeards really were summoning you. The Greybeards? Masters of the Way of the Voice. They live in seclusion high on the slopes of the throat of the world. What do these Greybeards want the with dragonborn me? Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a doom or shout. Shout. If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. The Greybeards. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? That was the voice of the Greybeards, summoning you to High Rothgar. This ah. has happened in centuries, at least. Not since Tiber Septim himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Atmora. Rangar, calm yourself. 
What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Oh, shut up. I'm gonna hear. As he may be, I don't see any signs of him being this, what, dragon boy. I can share it in your face if you want. Nord nonsense? Why, you puffed up ignorant. These are our sacred traditions that go back to the founders of the First Empire. I just show you. Rongar, don't be so hard on Avenichi. I meant no disrespect, of course. You just... It's just that... What do these greybeards want with him? I just showed, showed you, idiot. Business, not ours. Whatever happened when you killed that dragon, it revealed something in you. It did. The greybeards heard it. If they think you're dragonborn, who are we to argue? You'd better get up to High Hrothgar immediately. There is no refusing the summons of the Greybeards. Mm. It's a tremendous honor. Ah. I envy you, you know, to climb the 7,000 steps again. I made the pilgrimage once. Did you know that? No, I didn't know. High I just Hrothgar met you, like, is a very yesterday. Peaceful place. Very disconnected from the troubles of this world. I wonder that the Greybeards even notice what's going on down here. Mm. They haven't seemed to care before. <sighs> no matter. Go to High Hrothgar. Learn what the Greybeards can teach you. You've done a great service for me and my city, Dragonborn. By my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of Whiterun. Thane? The greatest honor that's within my power to grant. Ah. I assign you Lydia as a personal housecarl. And this house carl. from my armory to serve as your badge of office. Thank you so much. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? Yeah, I am a knight, I don't know. To have you as Thane of our city, Dragonborn. Thane. Back to business, Proventus. We still have a city to defend. Yes, my lord. I don't trust this guy. You're an Imperial, aren't you? Technically I am an Imperial too, but I'm I'm not I'm not an Imperial, no. Um Right, so Prince Jitter finally Some being dragons reach to discuss the ongoing hostilities, like the rest of the great warriors. I don't know what you're talking about. But yeah, I am Prince Jitter is finally being recognized as As a nobleman. Axe of White Run. Target takes 5 points of shock damage and half as much magicka damage. Uh-huh. It does... well, I'm never gonna use this, probably. Damage 17? How much do my... How much does my normal axe do? Let's see. In... Damage... 11? Ah, so this is double-handed, isn't it? Let's see. Yeah, it is double-handed. Got it. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna disenchant it because I'm never gonna use it. Disenchant. Axe of Whiterun. Yes. Shock damage enchantment. Okay. Disenchant. The fortify destruction. Thank you. Enchanting increase to 22. Resist frost. Resist frost. Thank you. Yes. Fortify magica. Thank you. Uh, yes, let's destroy this as well. And let's destroy this. So I am naked now. Cool. <laughs> cool. Uh, right then. Apparel? I have no apparel to speak of. Nice. Good job. I'll just go make myself some after this. Mm, right then. Item. So I can enchant this. Okay. Shock damage. Uh huh, I see. Quit enchanting, yes. Let's go make myself some armor because I just destroyed all of it. Ah, hello, you must be Lydia. The Jarl has appointed me to be your house, Carl. Yes. It's an honor to serve you. I am a Thane, what does it Jarl has recognized you as a person of great importance in the hold. A hero. 
A hero. The title of Thane is an honor, a gift for your service. Ah. The guards will know to look the other way if you tell them who you are. Interesting. Okay, follow me. Lead the way. Thank you. Uh, right, let's get all the way down now. Actually, I can just go like this, can I? Much faster. Hello, woman. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do, idiot. Armor, no. Mm. Let's see. Leather. Leather armor. Three leather strips. Okay, let's make two more. Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More inside. One. Oh, four added. Okay. No, I, I'm, I'm good. Okay. Now we'll go leather. Leather armor. Yes. And leather helmet. Thank you. Okay, we have armor now. It's very shitty. I've been looking for you. Ah. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your Thank you. Only. Thank you. A letter. Not sure who from. He wouldn't say, just that he was a friend of yours. A friend like of mine? It. Got to go. A letter? From who? Wait, let's get some get some of this going. Uh right, miscellaneous. Ingredients? No? Oh, ale, alto wine. I'm looking for a letter. Ah, letter from a friend. Got it. Jidir gone. You cast a bit of stir in Dragon Search when you demonstrated the power of your thumb. Not everyone is anxious for the return of the Dragonborn. I, for one, desire to see you and grow. I, for one, desire to see you grow and develop your talents. Skyrim needs a true hero these days. Ah, thank you. I don't know who you are. You should turn your attention to Dead Man's Respite. I understand it. it holds a mysterious source of power that can only be unlocked by the Dragonborn. Sincerely, a friend. Interesting. Who could have sent this? I don't claim to be the best blacksmith in White Run. Yeah, shut up. Let's uh, do this. Yes. Okay. Dragon's Reach. Enchantment, Fortify Destruction, Soul Gem. Ah, I don't have the Soul Gem, do I? Got it. Hmm. It seems this damnable conflict has claimed everyone's passions of late. Me, I prefer my books and my spells. Hmm, do you not have any spells right here? Nords of Chaos, Skyrim, okay. Coin purse, thank you. Roll of paper. Okay, I can just steal this stuff. Cool. Okay, you can just take books as well. Common soul gem. Hmm. Okay, well, I'll leave you alone. I could not intend this because I don't have any soul gems. Maybe, maybe it was a mistake to um, disenchant my armor. But, I mean, it's fine. I'm sure it's fine. I'll find some armor on my way, on my travels. Right. So, where am I supposed to go now? The way of the voice. Speak to the Greybeards. Where? How am I supposed to get there? Iverstead. Okay, well, I guess I'm supposed to get up there. Let's go to Riverwood. Maybe the people of Riverwood can tell us how to get up there. Hello. What could it mean? The return of the Dragonborn? And who among us could possibly hold that honor and such power? Me. So it's nighttime. Okay. Whatever you need. Buy you smear if it's simple and strong. I can forge it. Uh huh. There's a path over here. All right. Time to get up this mountain. Helgen. I I don't think this is where we're supposed to be, but I mean. You know, now that we're now that we're here, might as well, right? Uh huh. Still in ruins. 
Pelican. Yes, indeed. Ah, uh, but I can go that way, through hell again. Well, I'll come back one day. I'm sure of it. Okay. Helgen, Iverstead, Riften. I'm supposed to go to Iverstead, or not. There's two ways here. Well, I assume it's this way. Thistle branch. Mountain flower. Iverstead is this way. Hello, Fox. Haha, <laughs> take that. He's paralyzed. There's something in the mini app, like right here. Isn't it? Snowberry. So the, the bear claw must mean storm cloak. Here's what I can spare. Are you sell me shit? Thank you. Okay, I don't want any of it though. If you know any true sons and daughters of Skyrim, tell them to head to wind hell. Hmm. We'll show those faithless dogs who this land belongs to. Why are you At called Stormcloaks? That to belittle our cause, but we gladly accept being named for Ulfric Stormcloak, the only true High King of Skyrim. Ah, oh, I see. So it's we after are Ulfric. We sons and daughters of Skyrim and Ulfric. Hmm. He is the truest of us all. We fight to make our land great once more, to raise up strong noble thanes and lay low false jarls and the cowards who hide behind them. I see. The sound of our fury is a storm about to break on the heads of our enemies. Our friendship, a cloak of true brotherhood for all who would wear it. I see. Ulfric's not running a social club. You don't join anything. Either mm. you're a true son of Skyrim or you're not. Got it. If you are, then you make your way to Windhelm and talk to the man himself. If you're not, well, friend, You'd best walk away before this gets ugly. Hmm. Thank you. Until next time. I can just take your gold. Thank you. I can just take it for no fucking reason. It doesn't count as stealing. A map of Skyrim. Okay, on our way. No time to stop. Hey, what is this? Uh-huh, looks like it's the end of the, the path. Maybe? Maybe not, let's do some mountaineering. Uh-huh. Yeah, that doesn't look good. Maybe around these rocks I can go through? Ah, here we go. This is the path.
<laughs> hey. It's not like my potion is hurting anyone. Take a look. Um, do you want my? No, I'm not gonna sell you anything. Goodbye. Until next time. Yep. Purple. That was pink. Snowberry. Hammer's shame. Interesting. Just a horse? Did he miss something? Like, what is this? Maybe there's a cave up there, and he missed it. Hello, cave? Dungeon? Ah, yeah, I'm a fucking idiot. There's a dungeon up here. Got it. Okay, no, I'm not gonna go in, though. I have a mission. And there's just a horse here that I can take, apparently. I mean, you know, no one's gonna see me. rabbit there you can hunt it Lydia somehow <laughs> keeps up Oh, you fucking, fucking wolf. Come here, you bitch. I want your belt. Take that. Ah, the horse took one though. Oh, hey, bitch. Take that, you bitch. Yeah, lady, hit it with your sword. Well, it's gone. Whatever. You served me well, little horse. Now you're gone. One gold? Where'd it go, though? Ah, there it is. Come on, Lydia. <laughs> Stop shooting it. Waste of time. Lydia, it's a horse. Leave it. Oh, you motherfucker. Yeah, that's what you get. Horse hide. Damn, that was tanky. Tanky fucking horse. Deer? Damn. So pretty out here. Ah, there's a wolf. Take that. Haha. -ha. Wolf belt. Level up. Hmm, let's take more magica. Enchanting. Enchanting. Destruction. Let's go destruction. Destruction dual casting. Yes. Impact. Okay, so now we should be dual casting then, huh? With our sparks. Iverstead. This way. This way, right? Yeah. Up here.
I overstead over this way, I would assume. Yes. Here it is. Found it. Ah, what a nice little little village. Super pretty. Hello, elk. Oh shit, that's some, that's some damage, holy fuck. Nice. That's some real damage right there. Elk, your hide and venison. Cool. I was dead. Go cast your fancy magic someplace else. Sorry. Salmon? I can just st steal the salmon. Thank you. What is this? Wilhelm Inn. No, Wilhelmir Inn. Got it. It's fucking Nord names, dude. No lollygagging. No lollygagging? What do you say? Watch the skies, traveler. Okay. I swear she just said no lolly gaggling. <laughs> okay, this must be where. Uh huh, yeah, so the game wanted me to come here and then up here. Got it. Oh, let's get rid of this fucking blue thing. Alright, Lydia, come along. On your way up the 7,000 steps again, Clement? Not today. I'm just not ready to make the climb to High. Passing through on your way to High Hrothgar? Yeah. About to make a delivery up there myself. What if the deliveries do you make to High Hrothgar? I've been to the monastery many times, but I've never even laid eyes on one of the Greybeards. Huh. Not that I'd care to. Being masters of the Thulm, they could kill you by uttering a single word. Interesting. Well, not that they would. They seem peaceful, but I wouldn't want to provoke them. Interesting. Anything you can I've tell been me. I've the monastery many times, but I've never even laid eyes on ah, that's gray beard. Okay. The gray beard. Hello, my friend. I can... well, always thought it was odd. Ah, there's a layer of thick this. clouds covering the peak of the mountain above the monastery. Yeah. Huh. Not sure what's up there, but I bet the graybeards know. <laughs> yeah, if anyone knows, you seem quite happy. That's kind of a weird thing to say. My father taught me an important lesson many years ago. He said, Gwilin. You have the whole world before you. Mm -hmm. Go out and experience it. Yeah. Be whatever you want to be. So I took his advice, and here I am. This life might not look like much to you, but I'm content. And isn't that all that matters? No, that's actually a sin in my beliefs. Did you know that? I told my father the same thing, and he exiled me to Skyrim. So, I mean, that's two different stories, you know? <laughs> Content is a sin in my in the beliefs of Prince Jitter. Hello. Edge tablet. Emblem one. Before the birth of men, the dragons ruled Almundus. Their war was the voice, and they spoke only for the true needs. For the voice could blot out the sky and flood the land. Uh huh. So imagine that as we go up the hill, we're gonna find more of these. Explaining a bit of the history of. Skyrim. Goats. Go to hide. Oh my god, I am so power powerful now. I love that. And I haven't even enchanted my stuff. Wolf belt. Lydia. Come on. Hello, goat. How are you, buddy? Hello, traveler. Keep it. Yes. Do you hear the graybeard is called Tohakin? I 
did. Strange days when the monks will do that. Mm. I wonder what it means. What are you doing? I like to spend time up here. Walk the steps. Seen a bit Meditate cold. Meditate on the emblems. Doesn't hurt when I bag some game along the way. Yeah. Do you visit the graybeards? They're not the sort to take visitors. Uh huh. But I never go that high up the path anyway. Some folk who make the trip leave them food or other essentials, but not to make conversation. I see. I. Edge tablet emblem two. Men were born and spread over the face of Mundus. The dragon presided over the crawling masses. Men were weak then and had no voice. Uh huh. Ah, uh, so beautiful. More walls? Dude, I keep doing this critical thing. <laughs> Gold? Thank you. Hello, goat. Here we have another one of these. Gold. Please take the gold. Yeah, why not? Edge tablet. Emblem 3. The fledgling spirits of men were strong in old times. Unafraid, of to, unafraid to worry with dragons and their voices. But the dragons only shouted them down and broke their hearts. Interesting. Hmm. How long do you think this is? Man, I'm not even like halfway through. Holy fuck. Yeah, I'm going down and up all the time. It looks as if I was so high up, but I'm like not even half, half the way up. Look at the peaks though in Skyrim, like the mountains are all like peaks like that. Looks cool. Ah, someone. Hello. Did you hear the graybeards called Doakin? I was just outside Iverstead when it happened. Ah. It's an exciting moment. Nothing like this has happened in centuries. Yeah. That's what I heard. Just a pilgrim. I'd prefer to leave it at that, if you don't mind. Yeah, that's fine. And what are you doing? I was just outside Iverstead when it happened. It's no, that's not what I asked. Moment. What are you Walking doing? Walking the steps. Meditating on the emblems. I make this trip every few years. Hmm. A monk, I see. I. Edge tablet, emblem four. Kain called Partunax, who pitied man. Together they taught men to use the voice. Then dragon, ra then the, then dragon were raged. Dragon against tongue, I see. Wait, so who? Kain called on Partunax, who pitied men. Kain and Partunax. Uh huh. I imagine those are dragons, right? Who helped man? Hey, Frost Troll, take this, you bitch. Uh oh. Okay, wait, wait, give me a give me a minute, give me a minute. Um hey, hey, what's up? Yeah, don't Okay, I have a flames, don't I? 
Yes, I imagine flames are very effective against this guy. Take that, you bitch. Um, yeah, sorry, lady, I don't have anything to help you now. Uh, ancient Nord... Ah, bow. Right, bow. Mm, bow. Ah, troll, fuck off. I need to regen my magicka. Wait, wait. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, give me my mace and my sparks. No, my mace and my sparks. There we go. Yeah, you can't hit me, you're too slow. <laughs> yeah, you fucking idiot. Oh, f oh my god. Hey, Lydia. You should maybe, like, stand up. Ah, oh, I'm dead. Oh, and I didn't quick save at all. I didn't fucking quick save at all anywhere. Fuck me. Oh, no, this is so bad. I don't like this at all. Where the fuck am I? Oh, my fucking god. Okay, finally, I made it back. I'm gonna <laughs> make sure to quick save here. But yes, I am back. Hello, troll. I see you up there. Hey. Let's see. Is it Nord Bull? Oh, I can just pick you off like this. No, I can't. Okay, sparks it is. Okay, stay out. Yeah, that's right. Hit Lydia. Hit Lydia. Mm, I don't have any potions for my. for Magica. Restore 15 points of stamina. St stamina generates. 30% slower, I see. Alto wine, same thing. Two points of health. Mm, yeah, none of this gives me magicka. Mm. All of this is just health, I see. Well, time to flee. Hello. Hey, what's up? Yeah, I don't have anything else. Goodbye. Okay, let's see. Uh, ancient Nord Bow. Yeah, okay, goodbye. Yeah, woman, can you help me? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, troll, do that. So I can pick you off. Can't hit me. Ah, Lydia's back. Hello, Lydia. Let's kill this motherfucker. Yeah, you fight him. You fight him. Yeah, woman, you fight him as well. Man, this bow is horrible. I'm doing nothing. <laughs> hey. Too slow. You're too slow. Maybe I'm too slow now. Uh, hey, on that, on that note, take this. Ah, got him. <laughs> On a critical. <laughs> nice. Nice one. Troll fat and iron arrow. I only shot him six times? Wow, okay. Ah, uh, Lydia? All the way down there? Yeah, you can come now. 
I killed the troll single handedly. Emblem 5. Men prevailed, shouting Alduin out of the world, proving for all that their voice was too strong, although their sacrifices were many fold. Aha. Uh -huh. So many died, but they defeated the dragons, I see. That's where we got the um, the dragon stone, isn't it? It's a big building for just a tomb. I mean, it was a big tomb down there, wasn't it? Ah, another one, right here. Wasn't too far away. Emblem six, with roaring tongues, the sky children conquer, founding the first empire with sword and voice. Whilst whilst. Whilst the dragons withdrew from this world. Okay, so the first empire was used thanks to, was formed thanks to the voice, according to what it says here. Emblem seven. The tongues at Red Mountain when I w went away humbled. Jurgen one color began his seven year med meditation to understand how strong voices could fail. Uh huh. Let's quick save. I have already learned my lesson. Emblem 8. Jurgen Weinkoller chose silence and returned. The seven disputants could not shout him down. Jurgen the Calm built his home on the throne of the world. I see. His home on the throat of the world. Hmm. What a world to be stuck in, huh? Aha! This must be it. Hello, buddy. Etched tablet. Emblem 9, for years all silent, the greybeards spoke one name. Tiber Septim, stripling then, was summoned to Hrothgar. They blessed and named him Dovakin. Tiber Septim, I see, so that must be him. Hi Hrothgar. Finally. Emblem 10. The voice is worship. Follow the inner path. Speak only in true need. Got it. Yeah, we'll see about that. Uh-huh. So this is where people leave them stuff. Right. Potion of Cure Disease. Sack. Salt pile. Yeah, sorry, Lydia. I mean, I, I gotta do it. Okay. Other door? Watch your tongue. Holy fuck. I'm the knight here. Hi, Hrothgar. Hello. Dragonborn appears at this moment in the turning of the age. I am... You call me Dragonborn? What does that mean? First, let us see if you truly are Dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. Unrelenting first shot. Dragonborn, it is you. Welcome to High <laughs> Hrothgar. Yeah. I am Master Angir. 
I speak for the Greybeards. Uh huh. Now tell me, Dragonborn. Yes. Why have you come here? I am answering your summons. We are honored to welcome a Dragonborn to High Hrothgar. We will do our best to teach you how to use your gift in fulfillment of your destiny. Mm -hmm. What is my destiny? That is for you to discover. We uh -huh. can show you the way, but not your destination. I see. Who are you? What we is this place? We are the Greybeards, followers of the Way of the Voice. You stand in High Hrothgar, the slopes of Kinarith's sacred mountain. Mm -hmm. Here we commune with the voice of the sky and strive to achieve balance between our inner and outer selves. I see. I want to find out what it means to we be dragonborn. We are here to guide you in that pursuit, just as the Greybeards have sought to guide those of the dragon blood that came before you. Dragon blood. You mean I'm not the only dragonborn? You are not the first. Uh -huh. There have been many of the dragon blood since Akatosh first bestowed that gift upon mortal kind. I see. Whether you are the only dragonborn of this age, that is not ours to know. You are the only one that has been revealed thus far. That is all I can say. I see. I'm ready to learn. You have shown that you are dragonborn. You have the inborn gift. But do you have the discipline and temperament to follow the path? Uh huh, I see. That remains to be seen. So Without true. training, you have already taken the first steps towards projecting your voice into a thune, a shout. A shout. Also, I. Hmm. There should be subtitles, right? Vibration controller. Can rest controls. Display. Uh huh. Now we have subtitles for everything. Now let us see if you are willing and able to learn. Mm -hmm. When you shout, you speak in the language of dragons. Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn words of power. Uh huh. All shouts are made up of three words of power. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Master Einarth will now teach you Ro, the second word in unrelenting force. Ro means balance in the dragon tongue. Combine it with Fus, force, to focus your thumb more sharply. Ro. What is this? how the rest of us learn shouts. As dragonborn, you can absorb a slain dragon's life force and knowledge directly. As I see. part of your initiation, Master Einarth will allow you to tap into his understanding of Ro. Ro. Oh, what is this? What do you want me to do? Use your unrelenting force shout to strike the targets as they appear. Which targets? Lydia, get out of the fucking way. Well done. Again? Yeah. Again. Fus Ro. Interesting. Huh. So Prince Jeter is somehow dragonborn. Once more. <laughs> of course I do. I was trained for this. Aha. Uh -huh. 
Impressive. Yeah. Your thumb is precise. You show great promise, Dragonborn. Of course I do. After all, I am a prince. Your next trial in the courtyard. Follow Master Bori. Master Bori. Did you know that I'm a prince? Uh huh. I was born and brought up in one of the greatest courts in all of Europe. You ever heard of Europe? Come on, hurry. Hurry up. Faster. Come on. We go out. Courtyard. Very nice place, huh? Hello, Lydia. We will now see how you learn a completely new shot. Mm -hmm. Master Bori will teach you wood. Which wood. Means whirlwind. Wood. You must hear the word within yourself before you can project it into a thumb. Okay. Approach Master Bard and he will give you his hand of wool. Uh -huh, thank you. Very easy learning. You, you told me this is like... Told me I needed like a lot of discipline to learn this, but it's super straightforward. I don't know, man. Sounds like a. Master Wolfgar will demonstrate whirlwind sprint. Then it will be your turn. Master Bori. X. What the fuck? Stand next to me. Master Bori will open the gate. Use your whirlwind sprint to pass through before it closes. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Magic? Shouts? Okay, do it. Aha! Uh -huh. Quick mastery of a new thum is uh, astonishing. Uh huh. Of course I've heard it is. I the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself. I thought it was this easy for everyone. No, indeed not. But beware that your skill does not outstrip your wisdom. You are now ready for your last trial. Retrieve the horn of Jurgen Windcaller, our founder, from his tomb. In the ancient fane of Ustengrad. Ustengrad. Remain true to the way of the voice. You will return. Hmm, the way of the voice. Okay. Uh, now tell me, why are the dragons returning? No doubt, the appearance of a dragon born at this time is not an accident. Uh huh. Your destiny is surely bound up with the return of the dragons. My destiny. You focus on honing your voice. And soon your path will be made clear. Interesting. Thank you, Master. Good. Then you will be ready for whatever lies ahead. Who was Jurgen Winecaller? He was a great war leader of the ancient Nord, a master of the voice or tongue. Master of the voice or tongue. After the disaster at Red Mountain, where the Nord army was annihilated. He spent many years pondering the meaning of that terrible decision. Seven years. He finally came to realize that the gods had punished the Nords for their arrogant and blasphemous misuse of the voice. He was the first to understand that the voice should be used solely for the glory and worship of the gods, not the glory of men. Hmm. Jürgen Windcaller's mastery of the voice eventually overcame all opposition and the way of the voice. Was born. I see. What is the way of the voice? voice was a gift of the goddess Tinneris at the dawn of time. She gave mortals the ability to speak as dragons do. Although this gift has often been misused, 
The only true use of the voice is for the worship and glory of the gods. True mastery of the voice can only be achieved when your inner spirit is in harmony with your outward actions. In the contemplation of the sky, Kinnereth's domain, and the practice of the voice, we strive to achieve this balance. But I don't follow your philosophy. Why help me learn the voice? The Dragonborn is an exception to all the rules. The dragon blood itself is a gift of the gods. If we accept one gift, how can we deny the other? As Dragonborn, you have received the ability to shout directly from Akatosh. I see. We therefore seek to guide you on the proper use of your gift, which transcends the restrictions which bind other mortals. Mm-hmm. There are only four of you? Five. Our leader, Potanax, lives alone on the peak of the throat of the world. When your voice can open the path, you will know you are ready to speak to him. I see. Where shouts in the dragon language? Dragons have always been able to shout. Language is intrinsic to their very being. There is no difference in the dragon tongue between debating and fighting. Shouting comes as naturally to a dragon as breathing or speaking. I in see. mythic times, when mortal kind was in great need, the goddess Kinnereth granted us the ability to speak as dragons do. You told me. For most people, long years of training are required to learn even the simplest shout. But for you, the dragon speech is in your blood, and you learn it almost without effort. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Sky, guard you. Hmm. Now this proposes an interesting. This proposes something very interesting for our prince right here. You know he. He was brought up with the idea that. That seeking glory is the ultimate path towards. Seeking glory is the ultimate path towards revelation of the spirit and achievement, but now he's being told that his powers given to him by some gods he's never heard about before are to be used for praying, basically, which is something truly new to him. And he still doesn't know how he got here to Skyrim, you know, a land completely alien to him where magic and dragons exist. Sure, he wants to conquer this land and make a name for himself, but turns out he has these new powers, the powers of the Dragonborn. Proposes an interesting question for Little Prince. What do you think, Lydia? Still here. Yep. Lead on. Well, I think that will do it for today. So thank you all for watching, if you indeed have watched until this very point, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.